Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Figma's Nanoha Takamachi from the movie, the first version. Alright, let's take a look at the box. This is from some anime movie, whatever you want to call it. I don't watch this. I just like collecting figures. I don't know if you noticed that, but this is the bottom of the box. Kind of neat. Here's the side of the box. Comes with that little scepter of hers. Comes with the stand, and I did drop off her little cannon. Let's see, those are different little modes. She is a short figure. There's a little, you know, the little friend of hers. So, let's look. Figma, back of the box. This was released a few years back. I think 2012, not not too long ago. Uh, side of the box, Figma. Top of the box. And, yeah, a little Zodiac looking thing. I'm not, I like the background too. Kind of neat. Hey, right, enough about that. Let's look at the figure. Figure is a tiny little figure. Uh, the thing about this is that most Figma scales are usually about the look size. This is a little shorter, I think about four and a half inches, and I'll show you real quick. So you got the scale right here, and yeah, about that. It's slightly shorter than four and a half. You can take my word. I do like the figure. It's nice, it's white, but a little tiny, but I think it's because it's a little teenage girl. So <laughs> that's why they make it smaller in scale. You remember Samus, it's a little bigger. Has a little ponytail. I like the little war face. Comes with quite a few bit of extras. I'm just gonna set her down here. Uh, I like the wings. They actually do attach to the bottom of her feet. Kind of a. I'm gonna leave them on because it really doesn't. Yeah, they're difficult to pop off and on. So, yeah, take my word for it. So I'm gonna leave her to the side right here. Show you the extras. Comes with the staff over here. And I had difficulty removing the the hands. They have small hands. And that's one thing I want to show you. I mean, just to show you, I'm going to compare you with uh, G.I. Joe's figure's hands, which is slightly bigger. And that's a slightly smaller figure. So she got tiny hands. I know. Teenage girl. But here we go with the staff. I like the translucent bulb at the end. Really neat. I like the colors. Uh, plain white. It does come apart because it's easier to slide the hand through that. But I made sure that I had one because it is a really big thick staff and it barely fits in her palm it, it just the hole there is just barely big enough for this thing to slide through so it was difficult I think I stretched a hand trust trying to do that it also come with this humongous cannon looking sword looking thing which I like again has a little translucent bulb there really neat looking um, I, I, I like this again it has to be separated in order to do that and it also comes with this little grip so you can do a pistol grip and I'll show you how to do that no big deal Comes with uh, her little friend, you know. Okay, don't know anything about the anime. Nicely colored, so looking fair, looking thing. So not bad. Uh, different face, smiley little face, big huge eyes, very anime esque. Has four different hands. Of course, I'm already using one, so you have four different pairs of hands. So you got the open hands, two different open hands, which I don't know, big deal. This one is good for the trigger. The trigger finger and more open hands and let's see closed fist closed fist and a splayed open hand and a different change of hair good now that we got it out of the way also comes with a stand which her feet are thankfully big enough so we really don't need it but if you if you want to there's that little figma stand you can tell it's figma yeah all right let's look at the figure real quick I do like the detailing. I like the detailing in the eyes, the big nose, the pointy nose. There we go. Pointy nose. The ribbons in her hair. Not bad. And of course the ears. Good detailing on that. Little red dot right here on her dress. So they got the detailing really nice. The only thing is I wish the figure's a little bigger because the articulation is a little limited. And I know the dress, it's really cartoon anime accurate. Black, uh, black gunmetal silver looking belt white blue I mean it's spot on I like the red and the gold on her feet and her feet are fairly big which is one thing I don't like about the animes the animal girls usually they have tiny feet and they're hard to stand up the wings like I said they just pop off it's just a little added feature it makes her a tiny touch taller which is a little plus I, I like the look of the wings it makes her more just a tiny bit taller tiny bit more stable Alright, it does have a ball jointed head. I thought it had a neck swivel, not so much, and that's probably because it's smaller. The joint does shrug, which is kind of neat on the shoulders. Ball jointed on the shoulders, double jointed elbow, wrist is on a swivel, 
it does have sorry, yeah, wrist and a swivel and it does go around around a hinge and a swivel top of the what do you call that torso is articulated does have limited waist articulation and you really can't tell because of the skirt single joint on the knee which I'm not a big fan of ball joint on the ankle so it moves a little bit so you got a ball joint and a swivel not bad so you can get her in some dynamic poses and one thing I wanted to point out is that these little hands are difficult to pull, pop out. They're tiny, really tiny, and that little sliver does not do it any favors. So, I mean, it will get in there. Yeah, and I'm not liking how this looks. But, yeah, I mean, she stands up just fairly fine. Yeah, make a liar out of me, right? <laughs> there we go. Let me zoom in, so... You can tell. There you go. I mean, it works for what it is. And one thing that I wanted to show you is this little device right here. So if you wanted to give her a nice little, if this thing wasn't large enough, you can make it into a gun. So just separate the this portion right here. Stick the gun over here. And if you just wanted to use it as a gun, I like it better just like that. So if you wanted to grab it, I just stick it in the little trigger finger right here. And yeah, it looks it looks kind of weird. I don't think it'll work just as a gun uh, of itself. So yeah, it's probably better that you just use the little cannon mode like that. See if I can get that in there. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't like to attach very well. Yeah, it's a little flimsy cannon mode, which I'm not a big fan of. But oh well, it is what it is. So just like so it's supposed to be grabbed with two hands there we go yeah it's not looking too bad <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna try to stand it up it's kind of painful to do so one more thing is that I'll show you how to replace the faces which is fairly common for a Figma all we have to do is just pop off pop off the hair and her face pops off easily enough and as you can see the neck is on a ball joint but it doesn't crane which is maybe it does but I can't get it to crane so we'll ha put her little happy face right here just like that put the other hair which I really don't know what the tremendous difference it's a little poofy has a little cowlick or something oh it's on the separate side and now she's a little happier has you know on his side and you can put little you know careful <laughs> something like that talking to low you know awesome now for size comparison let me just show you this is good old Megatron as you can see this is what standard standard uh, figures from the Figma line should be about a deluxe size but as you can see is a little shorter I know she's a little teenage girl so it's probably before that and I got little GI Joe as a comparison so you can see so in between those two sizes, it, normally Figmas are about that size. All right, neat little figure. I like it. It grew up on me. I'll give her a seven and a half out of ten. All right, YouTubers, it's all I got, and I catch y'all next time.